Jeanette Anderson here from Bodacity.ca, where we support women in creating bold businesses and bold lives. This is today's Bold Life Booster. These are quick little tips and hints, reminders of things that you can do to have a bolder business or bolder life experience and to enjoy the journey more. Today's tip is about raising your BQ. What's BQ? It's Bodacity Quotient. Way more important than your emotional intelligence or your IQ or emotional intelligence, your EQ. And although you may not have heard of it, it's probably because I made it up. But that doesn't mean it's any less real or significant. And here's why I think it's more important. You can be really, really smart and not get much done in your life. You can have all sorts of intelligence, emotional intelligence, and be good at relating to people, have fabulous relationships, and still not have the life of your dreams. Why? Because you don't have a sufficiently high BQ. You aren't willing to take bold risks to put into action the things that you really long for and dream of because you're sitting back waiting for other people to do it for you, afraid, coming from fear, scarcity, or lack. BQ and raising your BQ, your bodacity quotient, is what I call increasing your woohoo factor in life, the ability to take conscious risks. Now, I'm not talking about just being a yahoo and leaping off of buildings without a parachute. I am talking about being discerning and conscious about expanding your context. That is to expand your comfort zone. We cannot create anything new in our comfort zone. That's why it's called a comfort zone, because it's comfortable in here. We know it. It's familiar. And we only get the results that we have always gotten because we are only doing what we've always done. So if you want some new results, if you want to increase your experience of joy, happiness, expansion, peace, whatever it is that would make your life richer, then you're going to have to increase your BQ factor. Your bodacity quotient is the ability to get out of your comfort zone, to try something new, to do something that you have never done, be something you haven't been before so that you can have results that you haven't had before. So what are you doing to take those risks, to step more boldly into who you want to be, what you want to do, and what you want to have? There's three things that I would recommend that you're going to need to help you do that. One is permission. You have to give yourself permission to be able to have what you want to have. So if you want a different career, if you want to launch a business, if you want to make a, a contribution in a certain way, if you have dreams that you've always wanted to achieve and haven't, chances are good that you haven't said a resounding yes to yourself, to your dream, and to what you want. So first it starts with permission. Say yes to yourself. Secondly, you do need courage. But Courage doesn't come from not being afraid. Courage comes from the willingness to do it anyways. And often we wait until we're comfortable or we're not afraid or we've got all the skills and everything in place. Here's the key to, uh, to having a high BQ. Instead of ready, aim, fire, often life is lived as fire, aim, ready. Take the action. From that, get input, get in, insights into what worked and what didn't work so that you can then aim the direction more uh, appropriately in terms of where you really want to go. As long as we're spinning in analysis paralysis and trying to figure out the trajectory that we want, chances are we don't pull the trigger. So fire, then aim, figure out what you need to adjust in order to get course correct to get where you want to go and then you'll be ready if we wait till we're ready we're never going to do it so for most people and the the next thing that you're going to need is commitment so yes you want to have that courage and courage is often created by being willing to do it imperfectly prematurely even <gasps> wrong so do it 
uh, take the courage step. And the way to do that is to have commitment, to make a commitment to yourself that yes, your yes matters, to make a commitment to taking action imperfectly, to, to committing to doing this no matter what, no matter what other people's judgments or fears or concerns may be, no matter what your judgments, fears or concerns may be, to actually commit as if this and you truly matter because it does. If it's your dream, it matters. And the last thing is con community or support. So without a structure of support, someone to hold our heart and hand as we make the leap, we often won't do it. And to be courageous doesn't mean you have to do it on your own. All of you lone wolves out there who think I can only do this if I'm, uh, or I'm, I'm weak if I ask for support, I have to be strong, I have to do it myself. How's that working for you? Being one of those lone wolves, I know that it sucks, that I end up being more tired, more, more uh, stuck, spinning, not feeling uh, ready or supported to, to make the leap. So create a conscious community of people who support you in taking those conscious risks. Surround yourself with people who have high BQ, audacity quotient. People are good at saying yes to themselves. People are good at taking courageous actions. People who are strong commitment makers and followers, throughers, those are words, and who support you. So a community of people who get you, support you, and want you to have all that you want. Those are some tips for ways that you can raise your BQ, your bodacity quotient, so that you can be, do, and have all that you want. Part of uh, creating a community is to join us on Facebook under Bodacity's Action Heroes. That's our group of people who are women who are committed to creating bold lives and bold businesses. So come and join us, get encouraged, and encouraged, and come raise your BQ with us. You can also check out bodacity.ca for all sorts of tips and hints and resources to help you raise your BQ. All right, have a great day, everybody, and I look forward to hearing about your bold steps. Bye for now.